In a freezing cellar with fake snow underfoot, I'm inching across a crevasse on my way up the world's highest peak. I'm getting a demo of Everest, a virtual reality game due out later this year. Oh dear, it doesn't do to look down. The headsets and the software which deliver VR have come a long way in the last few years. Ah, oh, I've made it. I've made it. I'm at the top. Oh, and here comes the chopper. Now the manufacturers believe gamers are ready to immerse themselves in virtual worlds. It's the natural progression. We've got bigger screens, we've had 3D screens, we've had curved screens. It's all about trying to immerse us as much as possible. The next thing is actually taking us into virtual environments and locking out every other bit of stimulus so we're focused exactly on what they're trying to tell us. Hi. In King's College Hospital in South London, patients on the children's ward are getting their first VR experience using this simple cardboard headset. <laughs> They're taking a virtual tour of the Dulwich Picture Gallery, one of a number of museums now hoping to reach a wider audience with this technology. There's two green chairs, one there, one there. You do kind of really get the feel of being there and seeing all the paintings, it's really cool. Getting into a lift, especially one as old as this, could be a scary experience for some people. So could virtual reality help them to get over their phobia? I've come to see how some psychologists are working with the technology. Remember to focus on your breathing, any muscle tension. They've developed a program that allows patients to try out the experience of getting into a lift. Out of 10, how anxious are you feeling at the moment? Uh, about a seven. It's not the real world, but it is a, I call it a very visceral experience. You feel your heart beating faster, you sweat, your breathing changes. You get a physiological reaction which you don't get in the 2D environment. So let's see if it's worked for Helena. So how does that feel now? I'm honestly quite proud that I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you should be proud. Do you think the virtual reality thing has helped at all? Honestly, I would have been taking the stairs about a month ago. Rory Catlin-Jones, BBC News.